not having your show, but I won't because you had a bad day. Yeah, Jen, you can't yell at me today. <laughs> My phone is never charged when I do Insta Lives, just so everybody knows it's always dead. Well, not dead, but it's always um, not at its fullest charge. All right, guys, so here's the deal. I'm going to explain to you as, um, well, Instagram didn't see too much of it, but... I had like a really bad day <laughs> yesterday and today. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to explain to you guys why that bad day occurred. Um, so <laughs> hope you enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel if you do. Story time, let's go. All right, so starting with yesterday, <laughs> This is literally a story time live stream because everybody's curious. Or maybe it's just me wanting to share my story with you guys. I don't know. Anyways, so starting with yesterday, um, first things first, yesterday, so you guys know that I moved into my new apartment um, on Wednesday. It's currently Friday. I moved to my new apartment on Wednesday. Cool, get it, good, got it. Yesterday was Thursday. Um, you guys know one of my best friends, Sean, he works in the city, so on his lunch break, we're like, hey, let's go get lunch together. Um, so now, his lunch break was was at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Cool, got it, all right. So we're gonna go eat at two, mm-hmm. So, what happened was, because, so I had a bunch of stuff being delivered from the container store, which, um, I just uploaded a new video of a haul of all my stuff I got from the container store, as well as a shop with me video, so if you're not watching that, or you haven't watched that, then you need to go watch that after this live stream. Link in my bio. Okay, so, basically, um, I had a lot of stuff being delivered from the container store at 4 p.m., so from where Sean works up to where I live, um, is about a 30 minute subway ride. So if we were done eating around like three, get the subway with it. Basically I would be home. Like I would have to go home right after, um, right after lunch in order to make it home in time for my container store stuff to be delivered because somebody had to be there and be present for the delivery. So, um, basically because of that, I needed to go to Target because I need to get some itemages. Um, <laughs> I need to get like a big thing of soap, like one of those like gigantic things of soap to fill up my soap dispenser. I had to get Swiffer solution. I had to get, what else did I get? Garbage bags, um, toothpaste, just like random essentials. Um, so I had to go to Target. So I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna go to Target, then um, I won't be able to go later in the day because the closest Target to me um, is the one on 34th Street, um, which is far from me, <laughs> but close to where Sean works. So, I'm like, if I'm gonna go to Target, I might as well go while I'm in the area instead of going home and then going back, because that would not make sense. So I went to Target before we went out to lunch. Um, I'm on the phone. If Skinny Legend Jen is still watching this, I'm on the phone with Skinny Legend Jen. She would know that I was, like, freaking out at Target because I'm just, like, doing all this stuff, trying to get my life together. Um, so I go and I get everything at Target. I put it into the bags now, these plastic bags. I wasn't able to bring – I didn't bring my, like uh, – I didn't bring a regular bag with me, like one of the fabric ones I forgot to. Um, so – I just had the regular plastic bags. Um, so basically, we, I go to Target, get the stuff, plastic bags, cool. And then after that, I walk to where me and Sean are going to get lunch, which there's this place called Rogue. It's this really, really amazing bar and grill place. Um, and it's in Chelsea. And I ate there all the time when I was living. Um... I ate there all the time um, when I was living at FIT, when I was living in the dorms. It's like the number one place to go and eat. Um, Sean introduced me to it, and ever since, whenever Sean's like, yo, lunch? I'm like, yeah, where are you trying to go? He's like, Rogue. I'm like, okay. So, we show up to Rogue, and Rogue shut down. <laughs> we show up to Rogue, and it's shut down. 
So I'm like, are you kidding me right now? It got bought out by another bar that was a couple blocks down. And yeah, so it was completely shut down. Not just closed for the night, shut down. I was like, this isn't happening. This was my favorite place ever. They had the best food, no matter what you got on the, men on the menu. Everything was so good. <sighs> so disappointed. So Sean's like, let's go eat at this other place. It's like a pizza place. That's like two blocks down. I'm like, okay, cool. We go to this pizza place to eat. Cool, eat, done, leave. I'm like, okay. Do I, I'm just like, basically, do I take the subway back to my apartment? Or do I get an Uber and go back to my apartment? I'm looking at my bags, and they're heavy, but I'm like, ah, like, I'll be fine to go to the subway and stuff. So I don't have to, like, pay the money and stuff. Like, because the Uber from there to my house, to my house, to my apartment was, like, $30. I'm like, I could do a $30 Uber, or I could get on the subway and pay $275. So, I was like, let me just do the subway. <sighs> I'm walking to the subway, and as I'm walking to the subway, both of my Target bags rip and break on me, and all of my stuff that I bought starts rolling in the middle of the street. Yeah, who is Sean? I'm new to your channel. Sean is one of my best friends. Um, he's one of my guy best friends. Awesome guy, yeah. Um, was he in vlogs before? He might have been in a few vlogs. I think he I think he has been in vlogs. Um, but yeah, so walking the street, bags break, everything goes rolling in the street. I'm like, oh my god. So I collect everything and I'm like, you know what? This is God's way of telling me that I should have took an Uber in the first place. So call an Uber. Um, first of all, put in the wrong address by accident. I put in uh, for was 23rd Street when I was on 24th. So, basically, um, the guy's there and he's like, I'm looking for you and you're not here. I'm like, I'm here. And then I'm looking and I'm like, oh my God, I sent you to the wrong street in, in Manhattan. It's not easy to just make a turn and go on to the next street. Um, sometimes it is, but usually that's not way, that's not the way the cookie crumbles because most streets there are one way. So you have to like, if you, and like the in and out and it's just like, I don't even know. So basically I had to wait an extra 10 minutes just so this guy could get around onto where I was. Cause I was like, he was like, do you think you can meet me at the corner or something like that instead to make it easier? And I'm like, I would love to, but I can't <laughs> because of all this shit. So... He was like, all right, no problem. Wait another 10 minutes in the blazing hot. He comes, finally gets me, put everything in the trunk of the Uber. Cool. Um, and then what happens is he drives me to my apartment. I go to my apartment. I open up the trunk of the Uber to get my stuff. <laughs> and my big ass gallon thing, like this big, of soap exploded in his trunk. <laughs> <laughs> it bursted open in his trunk. I am like, I open the trunk and I'm like, oh my god. My god. So I'm apologizing. I'm like, I had no idea this was gonna happen. I'm so sorry. Like, I promise I'm a good person. <laughs> like, you know, I'm just like, freaking out and he was like it's okay he was actually being very compliant with me so i'm like let me run into my apartment i swear i'll be right out like you could keep my keys because i'm gonna run in like if you don't think i'm gonna come back like i will i'm like run me let me run back and get a bag and get some towels and help you clean up and he's like okay so run into my apartment grab a towel um grab a like bag to put my stuff in that i could carry it up to my apartment take everything out of the trunk put it in the bag take the towel and I'm helping him clean it up and I'm like okay at least it's not like milk or something um it was just soap so I'm like at least you know at least it wasn't milk something that will smell it was just soap it smelled like honey and clean things so I'm just like my god so help help him clean it up apologize a million times um finally he leaves okay um and then and then i go into my apartment and i write a really nice uber review 
um, for him because I was like, this man probably wanted to kill me, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> Wrote him a really nice Uber review, tipped him a really great tip. And in the Uber review, I was like, thank you for cleaning up my soap. I was like, if anybody else sees this comment, they're going to be like, what the fuck is she talking about? Um, so, yeah. But then, <laughs> doesn't end there. Um, when I get into my apartment, I check in the uh, soap jug how much soap there's left. Now, here's the thing. In Manhattan, Manhattan is very expensive to live in. Okay. It gets expensive there. So normally you could get like a nice big one of those like jugs of soap at like Costco for like three or five dollars. I spent like ten or fifteen dollars on this jug of soap, which is a lot for that. And I pick it up to see how much there's left in it after it's spilled. And there's literally only enough to fill up the soap pump like once or twice. So I'm like, well, there goes my freaking soap that I just spent all that money on, my own money, on this fucking thing of soap. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god. <sighs> That's that. So I get back to my place, put everything down. I'm like, okay, clean things up, cool. I'm like, I gotta do my laundry. Now, I don't know how to operate my laundry unit yet, because I moved in. Uh, this is on Thursday and I moved in on Wednesday. So I don't know how to operate my laundry unit yet. So I put my laundry in the dry and not the dryer. I put it in the wash and instead of pouring the wash into the washer part of the, you know, where you pour it, I pour it into the part where you put the fabric softener because I didn't know and my clothes come out and they feel like really like sudsy and like chalky. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm like, what is this? So I go and read the instructions and realize that I put it in wrong and I'm like, my God. So I redo my laundry <laughs> and there's that. Um, and then, it doesn't end there, um, I'm going through all my container store stuff and I'm like getting my hangers, um, you know, I'm getting my hangers off of the things. Um, and so there's like cardboard on the hangers um, that you rip off, it keeps it together. I go to rip it off and I give myself the deepest paper cut. It's on my finger still, right here. And you guys, this camera doesn't do it justice, but the shit is deep. I looked at it for a minute thinking I needed stitches. I was like, yeah. and then also, this is kind of my fault, but I bit my nail too short and it started to bleed too. So I was like, fuck. Ah. So that was that. Um, I don't think anything else happened last night. So that was my day yesterday. But wait, it gets better. So today, what happened today is, well, first of all, I was up till 5 a.m. last night, uh, cleaning and editing and showering and doing everything I needed to. I didn't pack um, for tour until 5 in the morning. Uh, and then I went to bed and I woke up at like 9. So I woke up this morning. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't have a bed <laughs> right now. So I ordered a Murphy bed, like a really nice Murphy bed, but it's not getting installed in my apartment until like another like two weeks. So in the meantime, I've been sleeping on our couch because our couch is a futon, so it pulls out to be a bed. Cool. So I put everything down, sleep in my futon. First night I slept there fine. This morning I wake up, worst shoulder pains. Ever. I don't know what position I slept in. I don't know if it was the bed. I don't know what it was. My shoulders still hurt. I have the worst shoulder pain ever. So, that was that. so first I wake up and I'm like, great, I'm already fucked up for the day. There's that. Um, and then after that, pack up my stuff, leave my apartment. Cool. Great. Um, now... Here's the thing. I'm going to be transparent with you guys. It's kind of obvious that my new video... Well, it's not completely obvious, but my new video is sponsored by the Container Store. Now, they didn't give me any upfront payment, but they did give me money to spend at the store. 
in exchange for making the video, but it ended up working out really well. They reached out to me at the time that I just signed the lease for my new place and I needed a lot of things for it. So them reaching out to me, they're like, hey, um, like you create whatever video you want, we'll give you money to spend at the store. Cool, great, wonderful. So I was like, this is great because I love the container store. I thoroughly do. I shop there all the time. I don't have one in Long Island. So when I go stay with my parents, it's not there, but I go there all the time in Manhattan. So basically what happened was because of that, how sponsored videos work is you edit the video, you make it good, whatever, cool, and then you upload it to YouTube on an unlisted link, and then you send that unlisted link to the company, and they review the video, they tell you what kind of edits they need made, or they tell you that it's like good to go. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, cool. So last night, edit the video, upload it to YouTube, send the unlisted link to the people um, for whatever changes you know they need to make or they want me to make. Great. I am on the subway going to the airport and I get an email of the changes that I, that need to be made, just like small minor changes, but I, that means I would have to take the entire video down off YouTube and then go fix whatever in it and then re-upload it and send it to them for a review. Um, so basically um, what happened <laughs> was they sent me those things, cool, sent me the things for review. But I'm already on the subway, so I'm like, all right, I have to fix these when I get to the airport. So I get to the airport, I make the changes, and I start uploading the video to send it to the people, you know, like the agency or whatever. Um, you know, I make the changes, whatever, cool. It's uploading perfectly fine at the airport, except I needed to board my plane. My, the boarding doors were starting to close, so I was like, all right, well, can't get this video up. So... I ended up just shutting my computer. I was like, I could upload it when I get to the airport um, in Orlando. Cool, great, wonderful. So basically, get on my plane, fly to Orlando, get off the plane at the airport, try to upload my video there. The Wi Fi at MCO sucks, so it's not working. I'm like, all right. I will go to my hotel and I will try to upload the video there. Get to my hotel. The video is not uploading. Now, this video should have taken around 30 to 40 minutes to fully upload and process and do everything. It was saying that it was going to take two hours to upload. And I'm like, okay. Nope. So, I'm at my hotel. I'm like, freaking out because it's five. Video needs to go up at six. I'm like, oh my god bugging out um i'm trying to fix everything i'm trying to fix this wi-fi get this wi-fi thing done nada nothing's working i tried my room i called down to the front desk i'm like is there a way i could get high speed internet and they were like nope not really i'm like great um so i go downstairs um into the lobby i'm trying to do it in the lobby not working um I'm like, okay. So I was like, maybe if I go to like a Starbucks, it'll work better. So I get in an Uber, go to a Starbucks. This is three hours of uploading. So I'm like, oh my God. So I go back in the Uber and I go back to my hotel and it's still saying two hours. Old. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm just gonna have to let it run. But then... I remember that I have family that lives in Florida. They live about 30 minutes away from where I am. And I'm like, maybe I'm not supposed to see them until my show tomorrow, but maybe I could just go over anyways and <laughs> use their Wi-Fi, using family for Wi-Fi, you know. Um, so I basically text my aunt and I'm like, listen here, <laughs> I have an issue. <laughs> Can I come over and use your Wi-Fi? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, sure. So I got in an Uber. My grandma is there, my cousins, my like whole dad side of my family, basically. So I get in an Uber. I drive 30 minutes out to go to my aunt's house, get there, pull out my computer, hook up the Wi-Fi, and finally the video is uploading. Now this is at like 8.30, 9 p.m. Oh, my God. 
Finally, the video fucking uploads. I send it to the people. They approve it, say it's great, and then finally I got it up. So that's what my day has been, but I have had so many mental breakdowns today throughout all of these things that were happening. I'm like calling my dad. My dad's calling me. I'm like crying my eyes out. I'm calling my boyfriend. He's like trying to calm me down. I'm like, I'm like, like I'm, I'm about to break down. It's a screaming, crying tear right now because it's just stressing me out. And I wanted to get the video up today. So that's what happened <laughs> yesterday and today. I hope you guys enjoyed my TED talk. <laughs> so, there's my story time of what happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, well. uh, I have not much, nothing else to really say. <sighs> Now I'm going to take a shower and try to get the rest of my life together. And then go to bed. Because I got a show in the morning. I watched your video. I really liked it. Thanks. I wish I could give you a hug. I need a hug. Where'd you get the hoodie? Um, my boyfriend gave it to me. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Yes, you need sleep. I do need sleep. Did you like the Shane Jeffrey Star series? Yes, of course. I watched the entire thing. It was crazy. It was kind of sad towards the end, but it was such a good series. Guys, as much as I know that, like, <laughs> never mind. Hello, everyone. Now I'm just like reading comments now after just ranting to you guys about my life. <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Who knows? <laughs> We're going to try and make tomorrow a better day. Hi to the Willy Willy group chat. <laughs> what a name. What a name for a group chat. You guys like my pimples. Aren't they beautiful? This one especially. <laughs> oh. mm, mm, mm. Earrings are cute. Thanks. They're like my go-to earrings. You guys probably realize that. If you like really keep tabs on like what I wear. These earrings I wear like every single day. <laughs> so yeah, they're like my go-to. Where's your top from in your most recent video? It is from, what was I about? Oh, Windsor. It was from Windsor. Smile! Skitty Legend Jen. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Well, now I don't have to send you a voice message of why, why my day was ridiculous, Jen. Because <laughs> now you know. <laughs> I told Jen that I was going to send her a voice memo when I got back to my hotel. Um, which I was going to do after this, but now she's watching, so she understands. So it's okay now. I love your nails. My nails are like... I was going to get them done today because like they really need to be done. Um... Didn't have time, though, obviously, because of everything that happened. Did you watch Mamma Mia 2? I did. I did. It was awesome. Where are your shorts from in your video? Uh, the silk ones are from Brandy Melville, and the denim ones are from PacSun. Days are always good days. Those tomorrow will be awesome. Yes, I am expecting only the best from Orlando. If you guys go to Orlando or Toronto this weekend, you better 
make sure that these shows go out with a bang because these are my last shows. And if you guys didn't get tickets, last two shows of the No Filter Tour come through tomorrow's Orlando. You could buy box office if you wanted to. Um, and then we have Toronto on Sunday. So make sure to come through for the last shows. It'll be Liddy. <sighs> what are you going to do after this? Sleep? I'm going to take a shower. What am I going to do? I'm going to take a shower and then I'm probably going to just like clean my luggage up, like organize it. Um, and then I have some like scheduling stuff I want to do on my computer, so I'll probably do that. Um, and I'll go to bed. What time is it? It's midnight. I'm probably not going to bed till like 2. <laughs> Why are you not verified? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> not to say that I'm a shit or anything, but, cause I'm not, but I think that I have a good enough following to be verified. Like for crying out loud, I have the beauty chicky name verified, not verified, I have the beauty chicky name trademarked. Like, doesn't that say something? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just don't understand these things. <laughs> do you watch Riverdale? I do! I'm not caught up on it though. I'm missing out on some, uh, I'm missing out on some episodes that I gotta watch, but I do. go I just wanted to share that with you guys so yeah I'm gonna go before I go though if you guys haven't watched my newest video it just went up like a half hour ago not even um it's the shop with me video at the container store um and a haul of what I bought it's a really awesome video uh it's funny it's cool and it's filmed in my new apartment so yeah, um, oh, that's kind of morbid, but, um, <laughs> I'm reading a comment, um, but yeah, make sure you go and watch it, the link is in my Instagram bio, make sure you go and watch it, I have a lot of, like, good videos coming up soon, I was, like, scheduling out my videos, let's see what we have here, um, yeah, okay, so that, the container store one went up, so then I want to do Wednesday, I'm going to do Instagram Decides My Day. So I'm going to film it on Monday, Tuesday. Am I filming it on Monday or Tuesday? I don't know. Monday. I said Monday I'm going to do Instagram Decides My Day. I'm going to film it on that day, so stay tuned Monday. Uh, on my Instagram stories, if you want to, like, determine my day and fuck my shit up. That's going to go up on Wednesday. Um, I have a couple of things. I'm going to record when I get my wisdom teeth out next week. So I want to make a video out of that. I have a vlog that I want to post. Uh, school morning routine. I'm going to do a lookbook of all of my tour outfits. I'm going to do a pack with me video. How I get ready for traveling. Uh, some other tour videos, tour related stuff. Um, yeah, I have a lot of really good things coming for you guys. Now that, like, I'm actually settled into my new place, and now, like, I'm very sad, very, very sad that tour is ending. Um, but, you know, whenever something, whenever something bad happens, or not bad, it's not bad that it's ending, but, like, you know, like, you trade one and you get the other, so, like, because I won't be touring on my weekends, I have a little more time to film and do my thing. Whoa. Whoa. So, on, look at this, guys. Where it's highlighted here, like with the orange, it was originally on the Friday, but it just turned 12 o'clock, so I physically saw with my eyes that red dot jump from Friday to Saturday. 
yeah. <laughs> but you know, um, I have a lot more time to film and everything. Even like I made my school schedule pretty open so I'd have a lot more time to do YouTube and upload videos. Um, so I'm really excited about that to just kind of get the ball rolling. <laughs> um, there we go. So yeah, um, excited about that. We got a lot of videos coming for you guys soon. A lot of fun stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't know. If there's like any video requests that you guys have that like you want to see a video, um, if there's like a video you want me to do, let me know. You guys could always let me know on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Um, the only things I would say to not suggest is boyfriend related videos. Um, because I've said countless times before that I don't want my relationship on the media anymore. Um, because the media could twist things and turn things and it's stupid. <laughs> and I want my relationship to be private. If there's one thing in my life that I want to be private, it's my relationship. So please don't ask for boyfriend related videos because it's not going to happen. <laughs> to put it in simple terms. <laughs> But yeah, like I do YouTube because YouTube is my thing. Like if you're watching, I'm sorry, but if you're watching my YouTube videos for my boyfriend, then don't watch my YouTube videos and unsubscribe from me. I'm so sorry to say that, but like truly love him and I know you guys do too, but like, come on, you know, like beauty chicky is about beauty chicky. It's not about the people that are with beauty chicky. <laughs> So, you know, let's keep it like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I have a lot of really good other content coming for you guys. So, yeah. Um, and that's, that's that. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to dip a -roo now. Because I do want to shower and I want to get shit together. So, yeah. <laughs> I will talk to you guys Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out whenever I want to go live again. So, yeah. Have a great night, guys. And tweet me and stuff. I'll be on Twitter all night. And watch my new video. Go and watch the new video. Okay? Please. Do it for me. Um, especially because it was uploaded really late. Um, it kind of fucked up my YouTube analytics. So, let's diss the system and get it the same amount of views as it would have got when it went up at 6 p.m. And give a big fat F you to YouTube. You're like, mm, chicky community is too strong. You can't mess her up, little bitch. Mm, okay. I swear one day YouTube's going to demonetize one of my videos. <laughs> I'm like, all my shit that I to say. <laughs> Let's pray that doesn't happen. Anyways, I will talk to you guys whenever.